Now, the new year has begun on a high for the Navi Mumbai market. Mumbai's erstwhile satellite city is all set to take its spot in the sun this year with work expected to begin on a slew of mega infrastructure projects. Ruchi Deshpande, who tracks the market, is here with more details on that. Uh, Ruchi, time for Navi Mumbai to take off then. Uh, indeed, three uh, mega infrastructure projects, one entire new city and one deadline 2019, that's right. This is uh, what uh, CIDCO or uh, the City Industrial Development Corporation that is in charge of Navi Mumbai South's development has in store for the next three years. Coming to the first of it, uh, the, the new city called uh, NANA or uh, the, uh, the Airport Notified Influence uh, Authority will uh, consist of, uh, will be a 5,604 uh, kilometer city that will include parts of Thane as well as the Raigarh district. It will have 23 new smart towns. Uh, the phase one of this city has already been uh, the development for which has already started and it will uh, it will develop by 2019 where we will see the first three towns uh, come up. Now the three projects uh, that uh, that will come up uh, around the city include the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link, the Navi Mumbai Metro as uh, well as the Navi Mumbai International Airport. Just to uh, give you a bit of a detail as to what uh, these projects will look like. The Navi Mumbai International Airport will ease the congestion, uh, the air congestion that Mumbai is currently facing. And uh, in terms of development, this uh, 34,000 uh, crore project will see the pre-development stage begin the next month, that is uh, February 2016. And uh, Sitko has told us that the first flight uh, from this airport will take off uh, three years from now, that is in 2019. Uh, coming to the 22-kilometer uh, Mumbai Trans Harbour Link that will connect the cities of Mumbai and Navi Mumbai, this uh, 11,600 uh, crore project will see tenders being laid uh, two months from now that is in March 2016 and the deadline for this uh, will be the same that is in 2019. All right uh, thank you Ruchi for that and to discuss that and understand the Navi Mumbai better I have three very special panelists uh, joining me here on the urban debate uh, Sanjay Bhatia vice chairman and managing director at Sitco uh, Shrikant Joshi chief executive at LNT Realty and Ashwinder Raj Singh, Head Residential Services at uh, JLL. Uh, thank you all three of you gentlemen for taking time out to be with us here on the Urban Debate on uh, Magic Breaks Now. But we're also uh, going to do is open up the phone lines for you, which is uh, flashing at the bottom of your screen. If you have any opinion or queries, you can reach out to us on this number. So let's get uh, straight to it. Uh, first up, uh, you know, I'm going to go to uh, Mr. Sanjay Bhatia first. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, tell us, infrastructure has taken a long time uh, coming. You know, Mumbai's own BKC has, has stolen the show. Will you be able to catch up now? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> let me just give you the background first. Uh, because what Ruchi described, uh, uh, let me build on that. Mm. Uh, you know, when Navi Mumbai was set up, 300 square kilometer area was identified for 14 towns. Mm. Seven towns. Sidco has already developed and a Navi Mumbai Municipal Corporation has been set up there. Hmm. Now what we are doing is we are setting up a new smart city in the balance seven towns in which some development has already taken place and some are very very green field. Hmm. So this is the smart city plan which we have prepared up to 2019. Okay. Naina is a, another project which the government has identified and given Sidco as a special planning authority. This is another 600 square kilometer area, so you could call that as Navi Mumbai 2. So that is another project for which we have prepared the interim development plan. And it is a different model, 60-40 development model for land acquisition, hmm. which has been submitted to the government. And I am expecting the approval in the next uh, about a month's time. Then Naina work will also start. So these are the two things besides the airport and the metro and the port city happening in this area. All right, uh, Mr. Bhatia, uh, so that was the, the, the overarching understanding of what all uh, that Navi Mumbai has in store. You know, I'm just going to go with the same question to uh, Mr. Srikant Joshi of uh, LNT Realty. Uh, Srikant, uh, you know, do you feel let down that the infrastructure is, has, has been coming in uh, so slow and so late as far as Navi Mumbai is concerned? Well, uh, Krishnakumar, Navi Mumbai has grown pretty well. It had a very good base, uh, large population staying there, large roads, uh, 
hmm. not as dense as mumbai uh, schooling uh, institutions colleges all of that uh, lnt believed in the story 7 8 years back compared to now hmm. and even in the tender document uh, it was very clear that trans harbor link and uh, the airport was to come hmm. so to that extent uh, it's slightly delayed but better late than never Hmm. So we look forward to the airport and Trans Harbour Link coming and connecting this uh, Navi Mumbai. And do you think that uh, the 2019 deadline for both of these things will be met? Well, I don't want to doubt at this stage. Mr. Bhatia and his team are taking great hmm. pains to ensure. Hmm. All right, uh, I think great Mr. Bhatia wants to, to come in on this. Happens. Mr. Bhatia, if you, you can go so ahead. We wish, uh, wish them all the best and we hope. Yes, absolutely. So do we. Yeah. But Mr. Badia, you can yeah. come in on this. Can we expect the 2019 deadline to be met as far as the Trans Harbour Link and uh, uh, yeah. you know, the airport is concerned? Yes, yes. Airport, definitely, because airport on all fronts is going forward. And uh, uh, for example, the land acquisition process has nearly been completed. Pre-development works are expected to start by March. Uh, of this year and uh, the partner RFQ is already over RFP documents are to be given to them mm. so we should have a partner in place by June mm. so if if the partner starts the regular work by let's say even October mm. this year mm. by October 2019 we will have the first flights for the 10 million passengers per annum airport all right regarding MTHL very recently JICA loan has moved forward mm. and I understand that an environment clearance has also been received mm. and some EPC tenders are going to be invited very soon. Mm. So probably both these projects are going to come almost on the same time. All right, uh, Mr. Bhadia, on that note, I'm just going to take it to Ashwinder Raj Singh, Head Residential Services at uh, JLL. Ashwinder, uh, you know, BKC took away Navi Mumbai's thunder essentially, you know, at this stage, uh, you know, with all the infrastructure on track you know, uh, you know, set to arrive. Will commercial realty here be able to bounce back? Sorry, can you come again, please? Uh, Ashwinder, what I'm trying to understand is that will commercial realty in Navi Mumbai, uh, you know, be able to bounce back considering BKC has, has stolen its thunder so far? See, absolutely. You have to, you have to understand that there is a time which is going to come when by by extremely beautifully exclusive and so once the difference is maybe the competition also does not come in place because you know all right, uh, we seem to be having a little bit of a technical difficulty connecting to Ashwin Rat Singh. We'll fix that. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm just going to uh, Mr. Shrikant Joshi of uh, LNT Realty. Uh, Mr. Shrikant, uh, that uh, Seawood Central project, uh, the 40-acre massive project uh, that's in the works as far as uh, uh, you know that Seawood Central station is concerned. Uh, you know, talk to us about that. You know, what, you know, what is the uh, you know, outlay for that, and you know, how soon do you expect that to be done? And more importantly, now, if you're going to build something like that, you know, how do you how what is your take on job creation in Navi Mumbai? Because that's the problem uh, you know for people moving to navi mumbai or setting a base over there navi mumbai needs to be able to create the kind of jobs that a bkc does right first year on the project uh, krishna kumar it's, yeah. it's one of the largest tod projects in the world and certainly first of its kind in india uh, it's modeled on the most modern practices around the world and if you go and see, it's it's an engineering marvel. Hmm. Uh, it's all entertainment uh, and office space put together. So hmm. there are two lines of the station which we are making four lines. Uh, fantastic station from which you can straight away walk to your place of work or the mall. So in Mumbai, as you know, the transportation kills most of the time most employees uh, spend. Hmm. And that is something which we promote a concept called walk to work and this is as closer to walk to work as we can. Hmm. Uh, this project has come at a huge outlay of about 4000 crores hmm. and it will be ready by March. Hmm. No, uh, you, all right, because, but the big question is that now will IT come Now coming to your next question in terms, yeah. Yes, hmm. yes, that's exactly. Please go ahead, answer the question. Yeah, so there are two parts uh, to the project. One is the mall, and the mall will be uh, ravishing success because the people there don't have this quality of mall. Our challenge there is office space uh, of about uh, 1.6 million. Hmm. 
hmm. and as you know the office office market overall has not been doing well although there's been there's been a turn around a little bit last 2 3 months hmm. this is also the first a grade office which will be there in uh, navi mumbai of that scale and that quality hmm. we have large spans and the office will be like any other office you see uh, in bkc uh it has all ingress egress uh, well planned out uh, large lobbies uh, security uh, all, all the works which okay. you uh, think about mm. of course we the large part of it and it yes which is a low cost uh, rental mm. will not come there mm. but all the multinationals and big uh, corporations who are in that area mm. are definitely looking at uh, this project all right uh, so we do hope that over time we are able to make a success of it over time hopefully being a success of it i do have uh, ashwinder raj singh uh, head residential services at uh, jail uh, with me uh, ashwinder we're discussing the seawood central project that lnt realty has over there and uh, sirko is uh, mr bhatia was talking about how uh, both the trans harbor link and the airport is on track for completion by 2019 what is your take will <coughs> it companies choose navi mumbai say over pune will commercial real estate in navi mumbai be able to bounce back see the reason of optimism is very clear for any new project or for any new initiative you need to have a proof of concept hmm. navi mumbai initially has shown a proof of concept and hmm. there is a considerable population that stays there okay. though a lot of the population still goes to town to work hmm. but with these three infrastructure projects coming in even if they don't come in 2019 they come in 2020 hmm. which is a reasonable time frame given for an infrastructure project hmm. obviously a lot of these movements will get stopped because a lot of productivity gets hampered when you are traveling 3 to 4 hours a day the biggest bane in mumbai is the amount of travel people do especially with the rains etc that kind of happen for two months so the moment these infrastructure projects have a line of sight you will hmm. see many organizations many multinationals moving their branch offices if not their head offices to navi mumbai hmm. and lot of people would like to work near their place of work considering the hazards that you have in traveling in mumbai which you don't have in other locations so i personally feel all of this kind of the dots get connected and you will see you know the commercial real estate really doing well we need good quality of commercial real estate as was being discussed and there is a good quality coming in slowly and steadily we will also see some of the it its moving in from pune considering that lot of better infrastructure is there flight connectivity is there you don't have to land in navi mumbai and then travel two hours to mumbai which is like a travel between any two big major cities hmm. um ashwin sir i'm just going to take to uh, take it to uh, uh, ask you one more question you know in, in terms of prices do you see more run up or has it already been factored in in as far as navi mumbai is concerned see the way i look at it is when navi mumbai came up it was seen as an affordable housing place hmm. people who could not afford the prices of mumbai moved to navi mumbai yeah. now because it's been there for 10 15 years full fledged and the prices have gone up hmm. i don't see the new projects will really come up with high prices considering you don't want to create another problem for yourself or be you know have a self created problem where you again create a big supply demand mismatch where people are looking at an affordable segment of 75 odd lakhs hmm. anything between 50 to 75 lakhs hmm. especially when you're talking of it its sector and then you come up with higher pricings create inventory which is you know beyond a crore and again see a slump because hmm. most of the slump which has happened in real estate residential hmm. has also been self created by developers because of lack of detailed research hmm. navi mumbai should be seen as an affordable mid segment market right. the new developments should come in good quality hmm. there is new technology that has come up hmm. so affordable pricing prices should remain you know should not go up the way they have gone in hmm. in the past hmm. and uh, that is the only way to build a robust and a thriving navi mumbai market across commercial as well as residential it's all in the hands of the developer is what you're saying right uh, ashwinder uh, i'm just going to take it to uh, you know the developer on this on this note uh, mr shrikant joshi and i'm going to come to mr bhatia uh, to you in just a couple of minutes uh, 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 joshi uh, mr joshi talk to us about uh, seawood central what kind of uh, uh, you know growth uh, do you see uh, when it comes to seawood central in terms of prices Uh, growth in what sense, uh, Krishna Kumar? I'm talking about in terms of prices, uh, commercial prices over there. Uh, you know, uh, well, uh, I I would tend.
Well, I, I would tend to agree with Ashwinder there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Navi Mumbai, part of the charm of Navi Mumbai is mm -hmm. uh, its affordability, mm -hmm. both for employees uh, to stay and to commute. Mm -hmm. And that will go for a six if people change uh, those dynamics. So I hope it remains within reach for most people, mm -hmm. uh, as well as good office space within reach for most people. If you really see the first office move which happened from Fort to BKC, uh, people saved on the rentals. Then BKC to, say, Pawai, people save on the rentals. And I'm sure when the next wave happens to Navi Mumbai, hmm. people should save on the rentals. All right. Uh, next wave we're talking about over here. That's why I'm going to go to uh, Mr. Bhatia right now. Mr. Bhatia, let's uh, discuss housing. I've been discussing only commercial uh, real estate so far. What kind of homes are you expecting uh, you know, to come into the market as far as Navi Mumbai is concerned from here on? You know, I, I also want to add to what was being said earlier. Mm. Uh, in the next about three to four years, we're going to have more than 50,000 crores of public investment coming here. Out of that, 30,000 crores has been done, done, being done by SIDCO from its own finances. So the land prices are definitely going to go up. I don't think it is going to remain as much different from Mumbai in 2019 as it is today. So what we have planned is, because when the land prices go up, then affordable housing is not available. Hmm. So we are going to construct 55,000 EWS and LIG houses in the next four years, hmm. out of which 3,000 houses are already under construction. Hmm. So that will be a necessity and that is what SIDCO is focusing on. But if you have, if any of you have attended this uh, exhibition which was done by Benham and Kredai, mm. uh, lots of builders and developers who are today in Mumbai are actually shifting to Navi Mumbai. Mm. And I would say that uh, Navi Mumbai, especially the area where the airport is coming, because JNPT is doubling its capacity and this 50,000 crores of public investment, and many times that the private investment is going to become the economic hub of the country. Why I am saying this is that if it is planned properly, hmm. for example, this Amra Marg and all around the airport, hmm. we are making, uh, doubling the lanes there, uh, DFCC is coming, connectivity is improving, and when, and when, and when the MTHL comes, it is going to be a different ball game completely. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Bhatti, at, at this point, I want to come in and ask you, where does, airport I just, at this point, I just want to come in and ask you, where does Nena, your, the greenfield city that you're developing, fit uh, in this uh, entire piece, you know? Uh, you know, wouldn't that uh, be a key supplier as far as housing for all is concerned? Yeah, probably Nena is going to be the supplier, hmm. not the Sidco smart, second smart city south. Hmm. Nena, because it's a 600 square kilometer area, hmm. And what we are planning is that we will take up 220 square kilometers in the next about 5 to 10 years. Okay. And that is the, that is the area where the affordable housing is going to come to a very, very large scale. Okay. All right. Uh, on that note, uh, we do have a live uh, caller coming in. We have uh, Shorjit Chandra uh, calling uh, in with a query. Uh, uh, Shorjit Chandra, please go ahead and ask your query to our panelists. Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Actually, uh, my main query is, is that uh, can we uh, purchase a flat in that uh, Rotpali area? Mm. So, uh, for the residential purpose, and uh, as well as uh, can I pay, sell it after five years? Uh, during that, uh, after five years, I want to sell to mm. accumulate the my physical amount for my child's education for abroad. So All right. Is uh, it wise for the uh, purchase the flat at Rotpali area? All right, um, Shaudi Chandra, I'm just going to take the question to Ashwinder Raj Singh of uh, uh, JLL. Ashwinder, is it advisable to invest in a property in the Rotpali area or not? See, I would uh, I would suggest you know there might be a reason for him to look at this area, but I would suggest 
The areas to invest right now are Kargar and Panvel. There's a lot of action going to happen in these two areas in Navi Mumbai. And uh, the gentleman is keeping the time frame as proper. Nothing less than five years should be kept if you're really looking at you know, real estate as an investment opportunity and you can surely liquidate your investment provided your developer selection is proper, due diligence is done, you know what you're getting into, you know how much EMIs you can bear, what is the loan that you want to take and, uh, you know, go ahead and, you know, invest. But my favorite areas right now in Navi Mumbai are Kargar and Panvel and in and around those areas. All right, uh, Ashwinda, I'm just going to take that same question to Sanjay Bhatia of Sitco. A lot of developers are running towards uh, the new Panvel area. Your take on this, uh, you know, road poly area and uh, new Panvel? Uh, new Panvel, but I'll just add to what Ashwinder said. Okay. I think uh, Ulwe, Ulwa is the next one because the airport is coming and we have also started moving towards Dronagiri. Okay. Of course, uh, out of all these, Khargar is going to be number one. In fact, when you were discussing BKC, I wanted to mention this, that we are planning in about 120 acres of area around the central park and second B BKC in that area. So probably number one is going to be Khargar, number two, New Panvel and then Ulva. Hmm. Uh, and for viewers who are just uh, tuning in, uh, those line graphs uh, that's uh, next to me, uh, you know, that's the average price movement over the last one year uh, in the areas mentioned for Kargar. It's 3% from 7,750 per square feet to 7,987 rupees per square feet. Uh, and you've seen that 3% in New Pinvale, uh, as well. That's the kind of appreciation that these areas have witnessed uh, over the last, uh, uh, you know, till 31st of December uh, 2015 from Jan 2015, now last 12 months uh, uh, to put it uh, precisely. That, that's what uh, those uh, uh, line graphs are trying to tell you. New Panvel over there again, up uh, 3% uh, on a yearly basis of till 30th September on that uh, data coming in for magicbricks.com. Uh, um, I want to go to Mr. Shrikant Joshi on that note uh, before we take another caller. Um, uh, Mr. Joshi, the big question when it comes to uh, this particular development, this Seawood Central is a fantastic development. It's world class. We, you, know, the, you know, the dome area is thrice the size of the helipad in Burj Khalifa if I'm not wrong uh, but the big question is you know the job creation which I want to talk, was talking to you about before this uh, that will decide uh, you know the number of people willing to move uh, to Navi Mumbai and to use that mixed use uh, space that you are developing right yes uh, it, it's it's so and uh, that's what we look forward to first the mall the mall itself creates a lot of jobs Second, as uh, Mr. Bhatti has been saying, the JNPT is doubling. You will have all the construction starting uh, for the Trans Harbour Link as well as the airport. And what happens, you must uh, carefully see uh, across the world around the airports. Those areas develop faster. So hotels, uh, offices are preferred world over premium offices. A uh, little delayed and even if it's happened by in 2019, I think, I think it should happen. All right. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, you wanted to comment on that. You wanted to say something. Please go ahead. Mr. Bhatia. No, I, 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 yeah. No, I wanted to add something I've forgotten after listening to it. All right, all right. Uh, go ahead. You know, uh, I'm just going to go to Mr. Sanjay Bhatia first up. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, talk to us about Nana and, you know, what are the markets in Navi Mumbai that Nana will cover? Yeah, okay, but first let me answer that earlier thing. Okay, please when you go asked ahead. about what is the employment opportunities coming in this area. Yes. We have, we have done a statistical analysis of this investment which is coming in this area. Hmm. In the next four to five years, 8.7 lakh high-end jobs are coming in this area because of the public investments. Plus, whatever private investment is hap going to happen in this area, Sidco, Smart City area plus Naina area, there will be a lot of construction activity going on and construction workers will be required. Hmm. All right, Mr. Bhatia, then talk to hmm. us more okay, about what's Naina. What's your second question? No, no, I was going to ask you about uh, Naina per se as a project. What are the areas in Nami Mumbai that Naina will cover? You know, Navi Mumbai, Naina is beyond Navi Mumbai. Okay. Navi Mumbai is 300 square kilometers, like I said. Hmm. Seven towns here and seven towns balance. 
Naina is another 600 square kilometers. To give you an idea, uh, today total Mumbai with suburbs is about 500 square kilometers. So this 600 square kilometer area is much bigger mm. than even Mumbai plus suburbs. Mm. And if you add 300 of existing Navi Mumbai, it's going to be uh, about 900 square kilometers area, probably the biggest city anywhere. Okay. Now in this 600 square kilometer area, because you cannot develop it in 5 years or 10 years, okay. we have planned it in a number of phases. Mm. The first phase is our interim development plan in the first 5 years, which is 37 square kilometer area. Then we have an IDP 2, which is al already ready, which will be published in the next about 3 to 4 months, mm. which is 220 square kilometer area. So this is what is our focus. Okay. And within this area, there are going to be at least... 15 theme towns coming because what we are doing because it is not like a normal planned city the whole land uh, it's not 100% land which is being acquired so we are getting only 40% of the land with us 60% of the land is with the owner okay. who have to collect the land get it together and develop their internal infrastructure okay so we are going to incentivize those who come much in the much bigger land package mm and give it the theme which that guy wants. Hmm. Suppose the first guy who comes in a particular area comes up with 200 hectares of land and he wants to develop, let's say, an entertainment city. Hmm. So what we are going to do is give incentive in the balance 800 around that, hectares hmm. of area around that, hmm. that we will give additional FSI if activities related to entertainment are taken up in that area. All right. Okay, so like this, there are going to be at least 10 to 15 themes hmm. on which the city is going to get developed. All right, uh, Mr. Chikan Joshi, I'm sure you've been hearing some Sanjay Bhatia as well. Talk, you talk to us, tell us, you know, which industries or companies want to buy office space at uh, Seawood Central? Well, to name some companies would not be proper on this, but okay. we do have a good list. Uh, they are multinationals who are looking at, they are Indian corporates, uh, insurance companies, and all of these who are looking at uh, this very, very aggressively. All right, uh, and uh, you, know, uh, you know, what kind of uh, housing are you looking to build in that area, you know, to support this? No, we are not allowed to build any housing uh, on that. Our entire property will be commercial and uh, retail. Hmm. All right. So housing is, a lot of housing is available around the area. Okay. So you don't plan to do any housing as far as the Navi Mumbai so, is concerned? In the future, one doesn't know, but today the rates are much more. No, not as all right, all right. Uh, also, I want to understand what kind of jobs will be created uh, because of Seawood Central. Are we talking about like really high-end jobs? Are we talking about back-office jobs? What are you talking about over here? No, Seawoods cannot, uh, the property cannot afford uh, people with back-end jobs. Uh, mm. Back-end jobs are not, not uh, they are much lower cost, they are very price sensitive. Okay. So this will necessarily be people who prefer uh, A-grade offices. Mm. So it will be multinationals, it will be large uh, Indian corporates who mm. want their uh, kind of branch office or a larger office. My sense is when, when this whole thing starts, many automobile companies from Pune will also come. And then it may, over time, start to become the main office as well. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm just going to take it to Mr. Ashwinder Rat Singh of uh, JLL on that note. Uh, uh, Ashwinder, you know, I want to understand Naina better uh, from your end. You know, do you think now is a good time to invest in Naina? See, as Mr. Bhatia said, Naina is a very forward-looking uh, project. It is a mammoth project. Hmm. It twice the size of Navi Mumbai and it is bigger than the entire Mumbai, including suburbs. Hmm. Now, when you look at investment, you need to be clear. You know, there have been a lot of people who kept on asking me that, you know, we invested five years back, seven years back, considering the Navi Mumbai airport is going to come. Hmm. It never came. Our money's yeah. got blocked. What will happen? Should hmm. I sell it? Should I do a distress sale, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Hmm. I think Nana is definitely going to do well. It is a long-drawn project. It is a parcel of 15 cities. These are going to be smart cities. There's going to be a lot of planning required. Finally, the investment opportunities will come. But I think today it is a little early to kind of start investing in Nana unless and until your investment profile is such that you have huge surplus hmm. and you can accumulate large pieces of land and then 
work with the authorities to build a city as mr bhatia was referring to hmm. so right now it is an ultra hni or a corporate investment okay. which should definitely be proactive and look at nana as a place where they can consolidate land and all right uh... Uh, uh, Mr. Bhatia, you wanted to comment on uh, what uh, um, uh, Ashwinder was saying. Mr. Bhatia, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, no, I was mentioning that that uh, along with the uh, house because you asked him this question about housing. Hmm. So we are going to do fifty-five thousand housing near that area, hmm. which is economically weaker section and low-income group. Hmm. So this is one. Hmm. Second, I think you didn't catch me when I said we are developing BKC two hmm. in Khargar area. We have hmm. identified hundred and twenty-five acres of land hmm. right next to the golf course and the central park. Hmm. So we we going to give it a new design, and after the design is finalized, we will not be selling plots there. It will be on the lines of BKC with the specialized infrastructure coming there hmm. it is right now at its infancy but in about a month or two months time hmm. we will be coming up with the whole plan hmm. uh, today i am calling it bkc2 okay but we'll finally give it a different name All right. so that is going to be the second commercial hmm. area coming up in uh, navi mumbai hmm. yeah but uh, mr bhatia i want to uh, while we're on, uh, while we're with you i, I want to also ask you you know what are the area specific infrastructure projects that are coming up in navi mumbai apart from the trans harbor link and the international airport you know, talk to us about the smaller ones the area specific ones that are coming up that are set to come up in navi mumbai you know specific projects if you look at it in khargar area we are already developing metro 1 hmm. which is an 11 km uh, length uh, train now uh, we have also preponed our metro 2 3 and 4 to be completed before 2020 earlier we were planning to do it later maybe take it up after 10 years or so but once we finalize the uh, smart city project we realized that we should do the metro earlier hmm. so we uh, the uh, dprs for that have been given for preparation to rights hmm. i should get it in the next 3 to 4 months okay. and we'll start inviting tenders for that Uh, metro 2 3 and 4 the lands are already in our possession so the metro is going to be some specialized projects coming there okay plus we are also coming up with uh, a marina in this area hmm. uh, that's nearing nerul near the nerul area we coming up with the marina plus the water transport you know the water transport uh, had been a old project which had never come up but now that has been finalized Uh, Sidco is developing the terminal water transport terminal near Nerul uh, maritime board is doing in Mandwa and uh, Mumbai Port Trust is developing at Bhauchha Dhakka hmm. and it will be run the water transport will be run by a maritime board hmm. so the tenders for all that have already been invited hmm. in the next one month the tenders are getting opened so probably in the next one one and a half years you will also see water transport in this area similarly number of other projects are coming up okay. for example uh, we are also restoring the belapur fort then we are coming up with the specialized plaza on the lines of water there in gurgaon hmm. in uh, uh, the navi pun new panvel area uh, central park number 2 is also planned hmm. we are also coming up with the heliport in uh, khargar area So we have a big list. If you see my smart city plan, hmm. we have 88 projects which need to be completed by 2019-20, costing 34,000 crores. And majority of those projects have already been started. In fact, yesterday we did uh, the Bhumi Pujan of 33 gardens in uh, Navi in uh, New Panvel and Khargar area, which will be completed in the next one year. So on on these lines, number of new projects have already been all right, started. All right, Mr. Bhatia, that was quite a comprehensive list of uh, what all is in the works as far as Nami Mumbai is concerned. Uh, Mr. Joshi, I wanted to come to you on that. Uh, Mr. Bhatia was just talking about BKC two. Will you be one of the investors in BKC two? Well, it's too early to say one way or the other. We'll take a call when the tender is out. All right then um, Ashwinder you know I wanted to ask you this you know can Kargar do to BKC what BKC did to Nariman point 
See, as I mentioned, Kargar and Panvel are really coming up well. They are located strategically, and as you can hear, mm. there are most of the projects that Mr. Bhatia stated are in and around Kargar and Panvel. So yes. these are the two locations which are getting a lot of attention. Mm. And if that is the case, and the kind of infrastructure building up, new office space coming up, mm. there is a logical reason that Kargar and Panvel both will come up as great office places surrounded by. relevant residential uh, accommodation and finally you know really take a good shape hmm. what i also want to mention here is as i have been listening to mr bhatia very interesting to see the kind of number of projects yes coming up i think one of the learnings that navi mumbai can do hmm. is learn from gurgaon you know gurgaon 20 years back was nothing but the way gurgaon was marketed by the authority by the government yeah. and the way they were able to pull the kind of multinational uh, you know companies to come and establish their headquarters you know some of them have global headquarters in gurgaon today despite lack of infrastructure gurgaon came up so well and suddenly started you know giving competition to delhi and all the new uh, you know residential uh, you know projects too including commercial started coming in gurgaon so there was very good marketing and by marketing what i mean is you know over engaging communicating well telling the public at large that these are the things that we are going to do we are very serious about timelines you know we have some 30 parks coming in the next you know one year these are very positive things and if you know these can be communicated well and the public can really figure out what is happening Absolutely, Ashwin. A lot of interest will get generated to come towards this part of the city. Yes, Ashwin. Sir, on that note, we do have a caller uh, coming in uh, from uh, Dombivili in Mumbai, Mr. Amol from Dombivili. Please go ahead and ask your question to our panelists. Ah, we seem to be having a little bit of a technical difficulty connecting to him. But uh, the question, the query that was uh, coming in essentially was, what are the areas that you know? Uh, say home buyers should be looking at as far as uh, navi mumbai uh, is concerned that what are the most optimal areas inside navi mumbai that home buyers should be looking forward to uh, ashwin i'll start with you on that so as i said you know panvel new panvel kargar are these are the areas where you should look at these are huge places you will get various uh, you know price points in these areas you will not go wrong because most of the infrastructure development is going to go around it you will see a steady return of you know 10 to 12% over a period of 3 to 5 years uh, so both for an end user as well as an investor this part of navi mumbai should be the first to be seen and then as and when navi mumbai progresses you see green shoots around newer projects you can go ahead and look at it more from a investment perspective ashwin what is the kind of growth that home buyers can expect now from here on as i said as i said i look at you know anything between 8 to 12% over a period of you know 3 to 4 to 5 years hmm 8 to 12% over a period of 3 to 5 years uh, mr bhatia i wanted to come to you on that you know what, you know talk to us uh, uh, you know as far as uh, you know uh, uh, navi mumbai is concerned what would be your advice to home buyers what are the areas that they should be looking at i'll just add to what was said just now of okay. course kargar navi new panvel mm -hmm. like i said before ulwa and probably the best out of this lot is going to be the pushpak nagar okay which is coming right next to the airport mm -hmm. where we are trying to give the best of the infrastructures mm -hmm. and the land is actually being allotted to the project affected persons mm -hmm. in that city so that is something come which is coming up very very fast right next to the airport and it's not very far from jnpt also so these are the areas but if you want to invest uh, at uh, lower rates right now probably because we have started moving towards dronagiri we are developing a port city there now mm. the designs and all have been finalized the logistic parks have been finalized we haven't come out fully uh, with that yet but that is going to be another area for investments Right. Naina, of course, which we have mentioned, that is an area where you need to buy bulk lands. All right, uh, Dronagiri over there uh, in our data is showing eight percent increase over the last one uh, one year, from four thousand thirty to four thousand three hundred sixty-five. In fact, uh, we do have our caller Amol from Dombey Village joining us now. Amol, please go ahead and ask a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just watching your program, which is very excellent and uh, very informative. Uh, I just uh, very much interested in investing in New Mumbai. 
So which area, which exactly area, you can just let me know if the name of the city or name of the place where I can invest in residential market. Right, you're you're talking Navi Mumbai or Mumbai as a whole. Navi Mumbai, Navi Mumbai. In Navi Mumbai, as you heard, our panelists were just talking about Ulve, uh, New Panvel, uh, Kargar. These are the areas that uh, they suggest. In fact, uh, Mr. Bhatia of Sitco was talking about how Dronagiri is a great place to buy bulk land, and that's the you know that that is the uh, next uh, development that is in the works as far as uh, Sitco is concerned. Uh, you know, I'm just going to uh, throw it back to Ashwin there quickly for our uh, viewer. If you had to give him a top five micro markets in Navi Mumbai for a home buyer to be investing in. Kharga, Panvel, New Panvel, Dombivili is a good area hmm. and you know Palava is also coming up quite well. All right, uh, Mr. Amol, I hope you heard that uh, from uh, Ashwin Rat Singh, uh, Head Residential Service at uh, JLL. In fact, uh, I'm just going to move to uh, Mr. Bhatia on the road. Mr. Bhatia, talk to us more about uh, BKC2. You know, you know, can you give us a little more information on what all it will contain? You know, it's right now at a conceptual stage, I should be able to speak much better after about a month's time. We have hired a consultant who is preparing the plan and we have identified the areas, like I said, about 125 acres of land uh, right next to the central park, uh, which also the second central park will be coming up very soon. So all these are very, very um, good locations. You have the hills on one side, you have the golf course on the, another side. On the hills, we are also developing another 2,000 acres of land as a nature park. Hmm. So it's going to be much, much prettier than maybe BKC 1. The BKC 2 will, uh, and, and like, I, like I got that suggestion, and I think that is a very, very good idea, which we have also been thinking about is the communication and the marketing. Hmm. We will take it up, and uh, I am sure this is the place which will come up very, very fast now. All right, uh, Ashwinder, uh, I just wanted to check with you about the residential prices in, in Kargar. Is there a boom possible uh, from Kargar? Sorry? I want to check with you about residential uh, you know, prices in Kargar. Is there a boom in the waiting over there? See, as I said, uh, you know, the real estate markets in the last couple of years have really matured. Hmm. I, I really worry uh, this word boom because you know <laughs> you you need to understand that the real estate markets will never behave the way they behaved Before. in 2010, 11, yeah. 12. Absolutely, it's going to be far more controlled. Investors are going to be far more careful. End users are going to you know play the rule. Lot of demand is going to be driven by end users. Hmm. People are not going to over leverage. They are going to look at their budgets very carefully. So, yes, there is going to be a boom, which is a relative boom, because a lot of focus is going to come in Kargar. Mm. But it is not going to be that you see your prices kind of doubling in three years. All right. But you see a sustained growth, uh, a good benchmark return over the next three to five years okay. in these areas. All right. Uh, on that note, I do have a live caller coming in, Mr. Nitin Soni, uh, who wants to know where to invest. Uh, Mr. Nitin Soni, please go ahead and ask a question. Hi Ashwinder, this is Nitin Soni from Goregaon. Hi, hi Nitin. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Times Now joining with Magic Bricks so that you know my life become very simpler <laughs> after coming from office and listening to the property rates across India. Wonderful, sir. Please go ahead and ask a question. My question is, uh, see, whenever there is a boom in reality sector, Yes. Are you, are you audible? Yes, we can, we can hear you, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah. My, my question is, whenever, whenever there is a in declaration of airport, the prices boom. Hmm. Whenever there is a declaration like a Trans Harbor Link, hmm. Ulway and other places, the prices boom. Hmm. But then we see a slack thing for you know, more than a year or so. Hmm. Again, government do something else. Again, you know, uh, the people, they start investing, prices boom and they again crash. Hmm. My question is, in western suburbs, the properties are stagnant. Hmm. People are not buying it. Hmm. What is the best option for me to invest? Not for end use, but hmm. a 2 BHK. Hmm. Where are you looking to invest, sir? Link. Residential. Where, where exactly are you looking to invest, sir? I'm, I'm looking at, I have just read a newspaper today. Uh, that is the uh, Trans Harbor Link uh, near that... Uh, 
the creek, uh, what you have, uh, you know, uh, said in that uh, CEDCO notification. Okay, okay. Ashwindra, I hope you got that. What would you, what, what's your answer? Yeah, Karanja Creek, Karanja Creek. Karanja Node, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And first of all, I must congratulate you the way you have analyzed the whole thing. And this is exactly what I was going to say and I have been saying that today's client, today's investor is far more informed and have already made a lot of mistakes, learned from other mistakes and has become careful while Absolutely. looking at investment. Couldn't agree more. Now, when you look at pure investment, I think when you said that you know, you know, when an infrastructure project is announced, you know, it doesn't move and, you know, it gets delayed by one year. I will say sometimes the delays are four to five years. So you need to be mentally prepared that the delay can be more than one year. It can be anything between three years to five years. If it doesn't happen, very good for us. But you need to be planning when you're doing an investment that there can be a certain delay. So important that you keep your budget in mind and you look at a budget that you don't need for the next five years and you can plan out the investment accordingly. So a two BHK in the Trans Harbor area is a good investment. I do not have the ready projects with me right now, but there are a lot of, you know, developers who've been doing good job in Navi Mumbai, a lot of developers who've been part of the Mumbai market. Do your due diligence, look at your budget and then really decide carefully and go ahead with your investment. But All remember right. that, you know, there can be delays more than one year. All right, uh, Ashwinder Raj Singh with that uh, pretty comprehensive uh, uh, advice uh, to our viewer. Thank you so much for calling in. On that note, I'm going to go to Mr. Shrikant Joshi of Valenti Realty. Uh, Shrikant, when people buy, uh, you know, should they look at specific infrastructure projects like the metro, etc., etc., or bigger outlays like uh, Nena? What's your take? Well, uh, as Ashwinder has been telling you, it depends on what kind of capital you have. If you have mm. very patient capital, then uh, Naina is thing. Also, Naina, as Mr. Bhatti has been saying, you need a certain size mm. to aggregate. Uh, whereas, if the p capital is not patient, then you need to look at very different uh, ideas. Pushpin, mm. Ashwinder has been trying to say the same thing time and again, mm. that uh, today the, the buyer is a lot more uh, hope, uh, well-read, understood and uh, make the right choices to look at a right uh, developer, look at his past track record, look at uh, the sanctions and the ability to deliver and then put your money uh, there. I also tend to agree with him that the investors will be less and less and the end users will be more and more. Mm. So we at LNT Reality, we only focus on the end users who really need the house, who are really, uh, you will also see last 12, 18 months, uh, the branded people, branded sales are going up more mm. than the uh, unbranded kind of uh, builders. So there is a conscious uh, shift in the market in terms of uh, aware buyers doing their research, uh, finding out a lot more. And I would tend to agree, many of these infrastructure uh, projects uh, do tend to get delayed in, in our country as a history. Mm. So, finishing a project on time is an exception rather than the rule as of now. Mm. So, each person has to choose his, his uh, play and play. Although New Bombay gives all kinds of opportunities as has been told on this program time and again. Yes. Uh, also, one last question before I I'll let you go. Uh, you know, can certain areas in Ami Mumbai, like uh, Dronagiri, that uh, Mr. Bhatia was mentioning about, be what is called in market terms a multi-bagger? Uh, you're asking me that yes, or yes, uh, yes, Ashwinder? Sure, Ashwinder may be more uh, right on that than I... I All I right, so then I was going to go to Ashwinder. I just thought I will get your take as well. So let me go to Ashwinder. Then Ashwinder, can you know areas in Navi Mumbai like uh, Dronagiri that Mr. Bhatia was mentioning about be in market terms, the multi-bagger? See, I am a little conservative on these things. There is nothing called multi-bagger in a real estate. Okay. You can be lucky and you can be a multi-bagger even if you buy a stock. Hmm. multi -bagger there is a capital markets term and uh, you know when you look at I will go into some basics all our ancestors when they bought property you know the property was bought at say
All right, we do have a little bit of technical difficulty as we are trying to connect to Ashwinder uh, Raj Singh of uh, JLL. But on that note, uh, I'm afraid we've completely run out of time here on uh, this edition of the Urban Debate. Mr. Sanjay Bhatia of Sitco, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on the Urban Debate on Magic Mix now. And Mr. Shrikant Joshi of Valentine Reddy, thank you so much, sir, for taking time out to be with us here on the Urban Debate. And of course, Ashwinder Raj Singh, Head Residential Services at uh, JLL. And uh, with that, uh, we wrap things up here. On the Urban Debate, uh, thank you so much for watching. This is uh, Krishna Kumar signing off.